today is all about Arty Party in the Park. It's about getting the community's voice about what they would like for our playgrounds, our play spaces, our green parks, our open spaces, and not thinking outside of it, you know? It's not just about swings and roundabouts, though that's also all good in the hood, but how do we play in space? How do we make space to come together? This, I've brought the Orchestra of Objects uh, for your park and uh, I make musical instruments from um, unwanted objects from scrapyards and I tune them to a harmonic setting. They're amazing! They're amazing, they say. <laughs> So we go out to the community, um, we take objects such as the ones you can see in the movie museum here. Everything we talk about is related to Doncaster's heritage and their own heritage potentially. Um, so we share stories with them about things from the museum and then we invite them to share their stories with us. Well, lots of different people doing different things. I brought those in because I wanted to open up what play can be and that, you know, we don't necessarily need more swings, although that has been on that list quite a lot. Make a sand pit and maybe like put some, like some, like water guns. I think the opportunity to sit down, maybe have a cup of coffee. Uh, something else that seems quite popular is this idea about somewhere to hang out, you know, that's kind of like, uh, got shelter, so it's got some uh, weather resistance to it. Also, a lot of interest in disabled friendly uh, playground equipment. And the biggest thing is swings. Um, so as I said, when we bring him here, the only option we've got is that, and he, he can't reach his, his legs are too long. And it's a shame, because he, he loves them. And, and I know there's other kids in similar situations. But it's, yeah, it's about making it all inclusive for all children. And a lot of the equipment could also be used for toddlers that are slightly larger as well, not just the children with special needs. I've got so much data that I'm going to take this away. We're going to theme it. We're going to take those drawings. We're going to take the documentation. We're going to take this film. We're going to take all these conversations that we've had together and then come up with a plan of sorts. We'll see what people have been thinking, like line that up with how people are using the space. Use this to be able to get a little bit more funding and get actually updated. The first one is Adway Park. Highfields uh, Park needs um, a bit of TLC. And then we've got some future parks funding from Highfields Country Park, which would be excellent. And then I never want to forget about Carcroft and Skella. And we'll take these uh, objects and be able to use them to build it further. Don't worry about if it falls, we can build it back up again. With the idea of thinking about play areas, playgrounds, play spaces for kids, what's new that they can do uh, and what's imaginative and what is not static necessarily? And then just to think about, again, together as a community, what people would like and what input they can actually put into their local park. So it's, it's a bit... It, I think ownership is really important when you're developing something for the community. What would be a you really want a good idea? Line, yeah, I want a zip line. I think everybody wants a zip line. Yeah. I'm happy with a zip line. I want a zip line. Just a cafe so you can have a, a coffee yeah. and a, maybe a bar. Okay. Well, actually, you can have a beer in the park and yeah. while they're having a play around and stuff. Well, we are absolute health and fitness. I've been for oh, 50 odd years. Uh, my grandchildren come here and it is an integral part of the community. Uh, I just want to say, none of this would be possible without, you know, the community coming out and trusting this and wanting this, actually. You know, please keep getting in touch. Please keep telling your representatives, me, uh, and other people if you're in a different place. Um, what your ideas are because that's what we need to hear. Um, I want to thank Paul from the Adwick Park Cricket Club because without him we wouldn't be able to have got this funding from the Arts Council because they allowed us to work with them as an organisation, a local community charity organisation. 
and um, I want to thank every single person that's on this video for taking the time, being part of this, allowing us to follow this crazy idea and, uh, and taking the time today and that includes you Raj, thank you so much. <laughs>